you've started something so big and so important. It is, our, education has been dominated like most of society in the last 40 years by the hegemony of neoliberalism. And it's changed education. I keep saying almost poor people really, but it's changed education from a, a gift from one generation to another into a commodity to be bought and sold. And that's what happened with the introduction of tuition fees. But also, it's also happened with the almost the development of a whole industrial sector around rental income as well. And it's as the other speakers have said, this financialization process that has so infected education itself. And what you're doing, and I just I just have nothing but admiration for you. What you're doing is you're freeing education from these neoliberal constraints, this neoliberal hegemony. And you're doing it. I think it's step by step now. I think the rent strike is critical to this whole process of struggle around education. And I just want to say I have nothing but admiration and the courage that people have shown as well in, in the face of quite significant threats and hostility and, of course, the usual rubbish from the media itself. So I have nothing but admiration. But I think it's now leading on to a real debate around tuition fees again. So the next step is once you've won the rent strike, when we move forward then to ensure that we scrap tuition fees once and for all and then move into the discussions around student debt and how we can ensure also proper funding for universities. It's opened that debate up as well. But it is about proper funding for universities based upon restoring democracy to higher education and so that we no longer see it as a part of some form of industrial complex. So I think you need to recognize just how important this is. You know, it, I've got snow on the ground outside, but it is that analogy, you've, you've rolled a snowball and it's picking up speed and it's picking up weight and its significance as it rolls along. So I just want to thank you. Thank you for that.